A delegation of 40 Orthodox business leaders from the United States have just arrived in Israel, and they're calling on the Israeli government to reduce the influence of American Reform Judaism in the country. Joining us in the studio to give us the perspective of the Reform Movement is Rabbi Meir Azari. Erev Tov. Erev Tov. Thanks Almost for joining us. Almost Chag yeah, Sameach. Um, so, you know, the Orthodox delegation is saying that they're contributing more to Israel than the Reform and Conservative movements. What is your response to that? I think it's funny. It's funny. Uh, they claim uh, in the article that uh, they are bringing about 500 million to uh, the state of Israel, which is fine. Uh, but if you look carefully about uh, the article, to the article, you'll discover that most of the money that they claim that they bring to Israel, it's for their own education and their own people coming from the states that are living mm -hmm. here. At the same time, the state of Israel contributes a lot of money to the ultra-Orthodox yeshivot and to the people coming to learn in Israel. I, I, I wish they would bring more to Israel. This is not a competition about who is bringing more, but we are bringing a lot to the state of Israel. The so, contribution of the reform movement well, and the conservative like movement yeah. is enormous. Go to Machon Weizmann, to the Technion, to the Hebrew University or Tel Aviv University. You won't find among the donors ultra-Orthodox Jews. They will give their own money to their own people. We are giving to what is called Klal Israel. And we would like very much to have them taking responsibility to Klal Israel as we are doing that. Well, here's my question. What do you feel is the, the end game here for these Orthodox business leaders that are coming here? Um, what is the current relationship that exists between the U.S. The, reform movement? The and aim of this mission, of that mission mm -hmm. that I see through the lines in the article, that they are getting more and more the feeling that the reform movement in Israel is growing, becoming stronger. And this is a mission that came to stop that. This is the message that I see behind the line. Or, and, 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 and Where's that feeling instead, coming from, though? What, what, you know, I, I think they see the numbers. They see what is going on in Israel. The reform and the conservative movements are in Israel are getting stronger and stronger. And this is the claim. Stop them. Stop them from getting um, Nahala in the Kotel. Stop them from building synagogues. Stop the rabbis. Stop the Israeli government supporting them. And instead of becoming one united community, one Israel, Israel Achat, I, I, I feel the anger and I feel the fear there. And this yeah. is not the time to do that. Well, you know, here's, you know, the current government is obviously made up of orthodox political parties. No, um, the current government is, is Likud, is right. other parties, part of them are not orthodox. I right. think, uh, yes, there is a influence. But we're influence. still seeing an impact from the Orthodox uh, yes, leadership no on, on certain laws that are being passed right now. So the question is, um, you know, how, how does the reform movement see a way to kind of take control in we terms of We don't want to take control. We don't want to take okay. control. We would like to bring the message that Jews can live not just in the Orthodox arena. They can be reform, conservative, secular, and everything is fine. We have to find a way to live together. All right. Well, We'd like to bring the message that Reform Judaism is a very interesting Jewish community. It suits to many Israelis, them that we call them secular Israelis. And this is the story. And this right. is the fear. And next to Purim, uh, hours before Purim, holiday that united us, this is the story that we have to tell. Not about the fear from the other, but the fear from the other world that is attacking us. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining Pleasure. us, Rabbi. Thank you very much.